And now to our lab, where we put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. <laughs> ah, that really hurts. Just don't try anything like this at home. Today, it's travel sickness. Now, don't worry. Zahn's not attempting to dance. He's spinning on the spot, but it is for a reason. Inside his inner ear, Zahn's got tubes full of fluid that send information to his brain about balance and movement. And when I stop, the fluid keeps moving. And this fools his brain into thinking he's still moving. With the fluid in Zahn's ears telling him he's moving, but his eyes telling him he's still, his brain is totally confused. And the result? I feel a bit sick. If you feel sick in a car, that's because your brain is confused too. As you travel, your eyes notice everything passing by quickly and tell your brain you're moving. But because you're sitting still in the car, your ears think you're not moving at all. And these mixed messages don't just happen in cars. But I'm about to take travel sickness to another level. This aerial display team specialises in aerobatic moves that will be way more confusing for Chris's brain than when I turned on the spot or you travel in a car. <laughs> Do I have to do this? Yes, Chris, you do. Meet Mark Cutmore. He's the pilot who's going to take Chris up for a spin. You might think it's an odd time for a spot of lunch, but that Sarni should help to settle his stomach for the flight ahead. I just wonder if I'm going to be seeing the tuna and mayonnaise sandwich again over the cockpit window in a few minutes. We'll soon find out. Safety gear on. It's time for Chris to take his seat. Sick bag. We call it a comfort bag. A comfort bag. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Up you go. And they're off. Chris is travelling at speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, and so far, he seems to be doing OK. But let's bring on the crazy moves and see how he copes once his eyes and ears start confusing his brain. <laughs> this is a very unpleasant sensation. You and me are not meant to be upside down. Yeah, I'm turning my stomach. The tuna sandwich! It will stay down. Now, in a situation like this, clearly Chris's eyes can see he is moving, and the fluid in his ears is moving too. So why does he feel sick? Oh, wow, I have no idea what's going on. Well, there are so many different movements happening at such high speed, his eyes and ears are failing to send the same messages at the same time to his brain. They're out of time with each other, and that's why he feels sick. Uh-oh. <laughs> As we touched down, I was definitely feeling the tuna sandwich returning for revenge. I mean, at the end, I did feel sick, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I was very pleased to be back on the ground. At least you've managed to keep your lunch down, though, Chris. But if you get travel sick, you can stop your brain getting confused. Don't look down and try looking out of the window at a fixed spot on the horizon. This will mean your eyes and ears are sending the same messages to your brain and you shouldn't feel sick. <laughs>